Hi everyone, I am Insane Brio and welcome to my first Game Maker Studio coding tutorial. Actually, this is my first tutorial at all, so if you don't understand something or you have issues, you are free to say them in the comments below. And well, actually, I am going to say that I will make small tutorials and simple tutorials because I think that to learn how to code, we have to do small steps and also I think that uh, long tutorials can be annoying and if a thing is annoying you won't understand so let's begin the first thing we are going to see is hello world when you start to learn about a program language usually they make you do a simple exercise make the program draw in the screen hello world nothing else and uh, to do this on GameMaker you need to create a couple of things or an object and a room and well I am going to explain all aspects all options of objects of rooms and of every resource of GameMaker when we are going to need them so not everything on a single part of the tutorial and in this case let's start checking the settings of the room the room has three settings the name the size and the speed the name is a name you add to the room and which can be used to check it in the code and actually I'm not going to need this and also I'm not going to need to change the size the size is in pixels and we have the width and the height and then we have the speed which says the number of steps per second and what does this mean? essentially game maker changes what happens in the game a certain number per second so in this case 30 times per second but what does this mean to understand better what does this mean let's check the object actually the object is uh, everything that is inside the game that can interact the player will be an object and uh, each enemy will be another object the boss will be an object the menus will be objects and uh, something like that and uh, actually you need to code an object and then inside the room you can select the object and add it inside the level as an instance but first of all we need to code it else you can put it in the room and it will do nothing and you can simply put your code inside the object but first of all you need to create an event and well actually as we just said as I just said the game refreshes every every step so 30 steps per second means 30 changes per second and every step if a certain condition is met a certain event will run and uh, the code you add to the event will be will work a single time and uh, well actually there are a lot of events I'm going to explain them when we will we'll need them and today we just need a simple event the draw event there are a lot of draw events here but we need only the first one and I have to say that the normal draw event is the one that we will need mostly on GameMaker the other ones uh, we are not going to use them a lot I have to say it the draw event is a special event which works every single step of the game and if you add a certain sprite to the object so an image to the object that image won't be drawn because you use the draw event so the object will instead use the draw event instead of drawing the normal sprite and well to add code you need to go here to this menu of the drag and drop code execute code and add it and now you can put here your code actually you need to draw code on lines game maker start using the actions from up and then go down but to do the thing we need today we just need a single line and well to code inside game maker you can use three things you can use variables that I am going to explain on another tutorial statements that we are going to see on another tutorial too and finally the functions and we will need a simple function but what are functions essentially a function is a command you give to game maker you type it and game maker does a certain thing there are hundreds of functions of game maker and well actually you are going to need only few of them 
but uh, well to see functions you can start uh, typing something and GameMaker will try to help you or you can use help contents search and try to type something for example to go and GameMaker will uh, give you a lot of things not only functions but all also options of GameMaker or stuff of GameMaker and it can be pretty useful the function we need is pretty simple because usually functions have a name pretty similar to what they do in this case we need to draw a text and the function we need is called draw underscore text pretty simple actually when you call a function you have to open and close the, a couple of paragraphs and uh, on many functions inside the paragraph you will need to apply a one or more arguments and what are arguments arguments are options of the function to make it work in this case we have three arguments x y and string and well if you go to the help you can see the description of the function you can see what does the arguments means and what you need to put on them to make it work in this case we have x and y which are the coordinates where i want the text to be drawn and the string which is the text itself in this case i will add x y and hello world inside a couple of paragraphs this thing is called a string and is a phrase essentially if i don't put the two paragraphs game maker will would treat hello world as another thing uh, as a variable and we are going to see the variable on another tutorial what does this thing do x and y are the coordinates of the instance of the object this means that if i move the object i move also the text and hello world is what uh, the function is going to draw now i go i go to the room to the object section i select the object i want in this case i have just this one and now i can put it inside the room and where i put the object it the text will be drawn in this case here i can put multiple instances of the same object but in this case i need just one of them else i would get multiple texts and another small thing that i didn't explain about a room is that it is pretty similar to a cartesian plane in math the only difference is that if you go left or right the x coordinate changes like a cartesian plane if i go right it increases if i go left it decreases but the y coordinate is opposite if i go up it decreases but if i go down it increases you have to keep in mind this and now i save the save the game the project run the game with this one you can just test the game and we will see that it works i get simply a window with hello world we did it and well i hope you enjoyed i hope you understood and if you like the video you can like the video and uh, if you like me subscribe and well let's uh, see another tutorial the next tutorial will probably be a tutorial about variables and uh, well i hope you enjoyed and bye